All right, Janice. So I think your um, you had some questions about creating your branded LinkedIn header, and I said, hey, why don't you come on the call and we can kind of do this together? And I'll I'll show you how to do this on Canva today. And um, I think you had a a reference from is this somebody that you know, Lindsay Lindsay Gale Lindsay yeah. Galey? Is it? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So you wanted to use a similar technique. You didn't want to use the same image as her, but you wanted to use a similar technique, right? Or it could be the same image. I tried very hard to find a similar image and could not. The couple that I found were not horizontal. Okay, so, gotcha. So yeah. here, here's what I do. And I want to show you guys even before I go into LinkedIn, I want to show you on my LinkedIn, when I click on the little pencil icon, um, it used to say the dimensions. I know it off the top of my head. It's 1584 by 396. I'm going to drop that into chat right now. Uh, let's see, 15... 84 by 396 pixels is the ideal dimensions here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into canva.com and I'm putting all of these links in chat as I'm doing this process right now. Canva.com is an awesome site. If you haven't heard of it yet, I am so pleased to introduce this to you. It's like graphic design for dummies. It's like the best thing since sliced bread. Um, and so when you go to canva.com, you have to log in. It's free to create an account. And I do have a premium version because it allows me to save logos and colors and stuff. But the average person, you don't need to pay for it. You can use the free version. Okay. So you're going to go to canva.com. You're going to click on create a design. And then um, they do have a bunch of different templates and images and things like that in here. And I think they even have like a LinkedIn template in here. Uh, oh, LinkedIn banner. So here it is right here. So if I click on the left category, they have some pre-designed ones. If you want to use one of theirs, that's fine. I personally don't like theirs because I'm going to show you this one as an example. Um, I know that when I import this into LinkedIn, the lower left-hand corner is going to be covered by my face. So let me just show you, if I were to upload this banner, this Jennifer Reynolds part would be covered by my headshot photo. Okay. So I'm not going to use theirs. I'm going to create my own blank one instead. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm on canva.com. I'm going to click on create a design and I'm going to click on custom size. So this is giving me the opportunity to put in what are the dimensions I want to use for the image. So to address your issue of horizontal versus vertical, Janice, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in 1584 by 396. I'm going to build this for you today, Janice, so I can show this to everyone else. And then I'm going to message you the design on LinkedIn. Okay. okay. So we're going to get this done. So um, Janice, did you want something with like water in the background or is that a whale or a dolphin or tell me what do you want in the background on yours? Water, the, the, the intention is calmness. Um, oh, okay. Christopher could relate to this probably. And okay. then I sent you the words that I wanted to have superimposed on whatever image we figure out. Okay. So I'm just going to type in water calm and I'm going to click on photos. Okay. 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 And I'm gonna click on free. I've got the pro version of Canva, but I wanna just show you, this is what you would see with the basic free version of Canva. So are there any of the ones in here that you like so far? Do you want me to scroll down a little bit? Uh, the one that your cursor is on is, is, is okay. That's okay, so I'm just gonna okay. drag it over. And you know what you can do is play with the alignment of this a little bit. If you want more water, I could drag the image up. And if I wanted like, kind of sky halfway and water at the bottom. I can move it down. I might move the water up to like the two thirds mark right yeah, there. Yeah, that sky is too bright, that sky. Yeah. yeah. So do you want just the water like about that much on there maybe? I think so. Okay, and let me just go back to the email. I got a couple keywords from you, the things we could write in the background. Uh, nothing about me without me is one of them. Okay. And we'd have so to play around with how many messages can be on there without looking cluttered, you know, so. So here, here's what I would recommend. Um, you want to think about this banner image as a billboard for you. So like a, a billboard on the side of a highway, we want to think about what can people read within the matter of just a couple of seconds. I'd rather see one single focus in there um, versus so many different messages in there where I kind of feel like my eye doesn't know where to go. So yeah. Janice, can you remind us, what are you looking for? What's your ideal job title? Oh, patient experience advisor. That's the job title. Okay. And I'm just increasing the font size on here. This is kind of like building a PowerPoint slide, right? And what I might do is I'm just moving this around a little bit because maybe I move this up into um, 
kind of floating right above the water. It's a little bit easier to read. Yeah. And then kind of the header. Yeah, kind of like the header area. And then, yeah. you know, maybe I play with the fonts a little bit and I, I look through, you know, try to find something that I feel is is easy to read. I wouldn't use any scripts like this one right here. It's kind of really, no, yeah. it's pretty, but it's hard to read, right? Your personality, you got to kind of decide what fits best with, with you and, and with, you know, um, your personality and, and orientation. I mean, I, I kind of like the job title in here, patient experience advisor, because I know at quick glance what you're looking for. Uh -huh. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put another item underneath it. And I'm just kind of going to drop this in here right now, but maybe make this in a lower po point size. Maybe put yes, this down. Definitely. To, yeah. You know, something. I, uh -huh. So that way it kind of, it's it says what you're looking for. But then it also gives a little bit more of like um, uh, a description of how you're different or what you do. Yeah. So what do you think about something like that as a starting point? That's good. I okay. think that patient family centered care is essential because that's so big in the industry right now. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. you're not talking about that, you don't know what's going on. Do you want to use that one instead? No, not. Well, we could put throw it on top and see, see how they look. Maybe take one out or. I'm thinking there could be two or three. You think two or three is too much? I think it's too much. I, you know, I, I kind of like having, for me, I like having one focal point. If you wanted to do a secondary point, you could, I but putting, right. putting too much in there, it's like the more you put in, the less I'm going to read. Right. All right. So, so I'm going to st struggle with this one point. Nothing about me without me is also huge in healthcare right now. And it's kind of controversial. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but that by itself doesn't seem to be powerful enough. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I might, if you wanted to use that statement, nothing about me without me, maybe add that into your about section and talk okay. a little bit about why you believe in that philosophy, because then you can explain more. Like if I look at that, I don't know what that means. Now, granted, I don't work in the healthcare field, but you know, um, yes. I think getting a little bit of context and using it in your about statement might help you out there. I think that's a good idea. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, Janice. I'm just going to save this image. I'm going to rename it real quick, 1584 by 396. And then I'm going to call it Janice. Whoops. Janice LinkedIn header. Okay. And then I'm going to quickly do a download here. I'm going to download it as a PNG format. Okay. And now that you've seen how I built this too, Janet, if you wanted to go back into Canva, you know the steps to go back and, and, and recreate this for yourself. You could watch the playback of today if you need some help with it. You can look at the okay. LinkedIn header examples they have in there. So there's a bunch of different um, of ways of, of getting back to you know creating some header images. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to your LinkedIn profile. I'm going to message you right now, Janice, with what we've just created in here. Oops, Janice, I can't type and talk today. You guys ever have those days? There we go. What was that? I think it's very hard to type and talk. There's something about the brain. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just do downloads. Okay. So I saved into my downloads field header and I'll just put header attach. For some reason, you have to put a message in there when you send attachments, they won't go through by themselves. Okay. So you should be able to pull that up in large yeah. mode. And then there should be a download button someplace. If you don't see a download button, just click on it and then click on save image as, and you would just save it to your desktop. And then when you go back to LinkedIn, you would have the ability to click on your pencil icon in your header at the top, and then you would click on change photo. Then you would click on upload photo. I know I'm going quick, Janice, but we've only got about 15 minutes left, so I'm going to keep this moving here. Sure, and, and I, I, would... can get, I can do the play playback too. Yeah, in my... you can watch yeah. the playback. And then once you click on it, then you would click on apply, and then you've got the new header on your profile there. Okay. Did that help out? Absolutely. I hope it's helpful to other people too. 